Stick around, ladies and gentlemen, because today we're knocking out pork roast with potatoes and carrots. Time to get your pot heated up. So we're gonna lower this to about a medium heat and just let it sit there and get warm. Now back over at my prepping area, we about to throw it down. So what I got here is roughly a three to four pound pork shoulder roast. I'm gonna season all sides of this roast very generously with some paya seasoning or your favorite Cajun or Creole seasoning, ladies and gentlemen. It still works. Let's get this thing seasoned up. And there we go. Just seasoned it up really good on all sides. And now we're gonna get this thing searing. All right, so when you go to sear up your pork roast, you wanna be very cautious of your heat. Some stoves on a medium heat can get really hot, so be careful. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of vegetable oil here, you know, just to coat the bottom of this pot and then I'll add the roast. All right, so I'm gonna do the fattier side up first. There we go. Sometimes that fatty side, when you put it down in the beginning, if it's too hot, it can burn easily. So that's what we're working with. Probably gonna check it after about five minutes just to see where it's at. Just want it to brown up really good on all sides. Back over at my prepping area, I have a large yellow onion that I'm gonna chop up on this really awesome cutting board here. Shout out to little Miss Kenzie who hooked me up with this as a gift for Christmas. I am stoked about this thing. I also got some sliced mushrooms, but I'm gonna save those for now until I need them. We about to crack this onion. Choo! Paya! Oh, I say this cutting board can certainly handle the wrath of a paya, but them onions can. Ain't nothing changed about that. <laughs> Let's take a look here. Ooh, it's gonna be hard to grab. Oh, man. Oh, there we go. Nice browning. Looking good. All right, I'm gonna try to move this thing again one handed here. I apologize. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's looking good. Kind of getting that inner side there. It kind of split on me. But man, that is browning up beautifully. It's looking good. All right, so I'm going to try to move this around one more time here. Oh, goodness gracious. Just kind of put on the side a little bit there. See, some of these sides are... Still not seared up. This was a very uh, weird shape pork shoulder roast here, but um, we're going to sear it. All right, guys, this is good enough for me, so I'm going to try and pick this up here and put it in this bowl off on the side. And we about to get that up right there. Throw in your onions. Woohoo! And scoop that in. So you want to cook this down for about five minutes just to get them tossed around in here and break up the bottom. And then we'll add the mushrooms in. Looking good. All right, let's add the mushrooms. Oh. Well, would you look at that? All right. So I'm just going to continue to toss these around and probably cook them down for 15 to 20 minutes. You know, just want them to kind of release some of the water that's in them and pull up some of this flavor right here. All right, so while I'm cooking that, I like to make a little concoction over here in my measuring cup. So I'm pouring in one 14 and a half ounce can of chicken broth, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Yeah, I can't ever say that right. And two envelopes of an onion soup mix. 
they usually come two to a box, two little envelopes in a box. So we uh, put that in there and we mix it up. All right, we're just going to leave this like it is until we're ready. All right, guys, we've been cooking this up for about 15 minutes now. We're going to go another five, but at this point, I'm going to go ahead and add two teaspoons of some minced garlic. One. Two. There we go. Let's get that moved around now. Cook that up in there. Now look guys, you can use fresh garlic, go ahead and chop it up yourself. And I've done that in many videos. But you know, lately I've been cooking, you know, and not filming, just kind of cooking on my own, testing some things. And minced garlic that you can buy in the jar, it works just as good. It's fresh, it's already cut up for you, and it's real simple. Uh, you might save a little bit buying that fresh clove of garlic or head of garlic, whatever you call it. But um, yeah, this works for me. Okay, guys, so from the time we put the onions in to now has been about 25 minutes. And as you can see, these onions are real soft. The mushrooms have cooked down beautifully. That garlic is merging in there. And you see some browning forming on the bottom, which is awesome. I love that browning right there. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to pour some of my little concoction here and kind of break that up. And uh, as that kind of sears up a little bit, I uh, will be able to just kind of break up this bottom with that, that liquid. And as you can see, it's kind of breaking up. Look at that. Beautiful. Break up that bottom. Love it. Love it. We just blend that in really good. And it'll get all over our onions and mushrooms. It's just all some seasoning that's kind of Stuck down there, but look, there you go. Kind of broken up. Looks wonderful. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit more of the liquid here. There we go. And then next, I will take my pork roast and put that in there as well. Whew. Try to get that in there. Looks good. And then I will take the rest of my concoction and just pour it all over the top. And all these dehydrated onions that are in the onion soup mix, I'll scoop that in. Looking good, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and take some of this with a spoon here and just kind of, you know, baste the top of this pork roast here. Some of these fresh onions and juices all along the top. And just, you know, kind of have a nice little liquid base there on the top. Furthermore, this is some flavor in here, guys. Don't forget to add that back to your pot here. A little on this side and a little on that side as well. All right, from there, we're going to go ahead and raise our fire here and get this to a boil. And now that that's boiling, you cover it up and lower to a simmering heat. Let this cook for one hour. So back over at my prepping area, I've got six carrots and roughly one pound of baby Dutch yellow potatoes. I'm going to cut these carrots in probably about two inch pieces and I'll slice these potatoes in half. And there we go. So once our one hour mark is up, we will add this to the pot. All right, one hour is up. That looks amazing. Whew. I'm kind of stir the bottom here, make sure everything's not sticking. Or make sure nothing's sticking, tell you the truth. And then I will flip this over so I can let the other side start to cook. Oh, that broke in half. There we go. And let the other side cook in the juices there. Cook evenly. And I will also add in our carrots and potatoes. There we go. One was left behind. Get in there. All right. Push this down in the juices there. Whew. This smells so good. All right, I'm going to raise the heat here just to uh, get this back to a boil. What you think about that, Hazel? <laughs> All right, once you got that boiling, you cover it back up. And you lower to a simmering heat. We're going to let this cook for one and a half hours. Get that off of there. All right, so the one and a half hour is almost up. Right here, I have two tablespoons of cornstarch. 
I'm gonna add a small amount of cold water to this and mix it up and use this to thicken my gravy. All right, let's take a look here. Yes, indeed. All right, so we're gonna wanna remove the roast from here. Should be very tender at this point. Whew. I don't really want it to break apart yet in there. Try and put it in this bowl off on the side. Oh, we brought a carrot with us. <laughs> Let's get all this out. Oh man, look at that, it's wanna tear apart. There we go. Oof, that's tender. All right, so we're gonna add our cornstarch mixture here to this gravy. It's a very thin gravy at this point, but this, this is gonna help thicken it. And we wanna just stir this in as we add it. You guys can see that. And doing so is gonna help thicken that gravy up. And you know, you, you kinda decide how much you, you want in there, but you can kinda see already, it's, it's getting a little thicker. You can always do three tablespoons if you want. Just, just go with a small amount of cold water though. You don't need a lot, just enough to kinda loosen it up. And you add it in there like that and that thickens it. Now, as far as this roast goes, I'm just gonna break this up into some chunks and then add it back to the gravy. Just like that. Here we go. Ooh, oh. Yes, indeed. Oh, just get that in there, you know, just kind of push it down. Let all that marry up in there and you are good to go. Now, if you have rice already cooked from here, you can just, you know, get this on here and serve up. But if you're just beginning to cook your rice, that's fine too. This, just let this sit here on a low heat, or even if you want to turn it off, you know, the, the pork here is fully cooked. Um, you know, just at this point, it's a matter of letting it sit and letting that flavor of gravy just kind of get up in all the meat here. Guys, I can barely talk. I'm so hungry right now, and it smells so delicious. Ugh. But that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is a pork roast with potatoes and carrots. And I'm starving. Let's go. Yeah. All right, y'all, let's do a little run through. I'm going to start it off humming. Home. <laughs> All right, here we go. <gasps> <laughs> oh, man, look, I, I don't even know what to say, guys. Let me tell you, when you do a roast, pork, beef, what have you, the smells that fill up your home are just incredible. I mean, you already know, I'm salivating. <laughs> I'm so hungry, it smells really good. Everything that we've incorporated into this has just released into the atmosphere of this house. So uh, I'm pretty pumped, let's dive in. Oh man, so this roast is so tender. Oh man, I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit of, a little bit of carrot, meat, and gravy with rice. Ooh. Bon appetit. Oh man. That is so good. This potato. Mm. Oh man. I'm not even sure yet how I want to describe this. The gravy is just, it's so savory, yet there's a, like a subtle hint of sweetness there that I love because that's what onion can do when it's cooked down for a long time. It has kind of a natural sweetness. And I know I say that kind of stuff a lot, but I just think that that subtle sweetness with savory is just so good. It just excites so many taste buds on, on your tongue, you know? Oh man, this pork is so tender. I mean, look at this, this is a fork, you know, and I can just cut right through it. Cut right through it, bam, look at that, it just pull apart. Look how good that looks. Woo, man. Mmm, so tender. 
and those carrots and potatoes have pulled up a bunch of the flavors. So, mm. they're real tender, but super flavorful. This is so good. Now, look, I know many of you guys have seen me in the past do the pot roast, which is the beef roast. And I, I did just a little, little differences here. I, I didn't use the pickup pepper sauce. Um, and instead of mixing that concoction with water, I used a can of chicken broth. Um, I just find, you know, like chicken broth will complement pork or chicken. Whereas that pickup pepper sauce is almost similar to like a steak sauce. So like it, it just brought about this great flavor to the beef. But you know, the subtle changes I made here, um, it, it came out really good. Um, I didn't use celery either. And, and the reason why is, was, I've tried it before, celery with the pork roast, and the celery just seemed to stand out a lot. It was kind of a little too strong. So I left that out, decided to throw in potatoes, and uh, I made a good choice here. I really think I did. I also think you'll just love this. It's a great meal. It's just a good hearty meal. Oh man, it's so flavorful. Mm. I like that little bit of fat on the pork too. You could always trim your pork, but that little bit of fat, oh man. That is money. Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we have knocked this out. Pork roast, gravy, potatoes, carrots, oh, and mushrooms, oh. So good. So look, please give this a try. Let me know how it comes out. And I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. It was a lot of fun making this. And as always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. I'll see you next time. Paya! Man, turn that thing off, man.